Mick McMillan never wore a Bobcat jersey, but he's still blue and gold through and through. Sometimes I think universities save people. You know, if you go to school and that, and you know, maybe that day with coach, maybe that saved me. McMillan grew up in Snow Lake, Manitoba. At less than a year old, he ended up in foster care. He pays homage to his adopted parents. It was a great upbringing. You know, my mom and dad, you know, if you talk to anyone who knew them, they were they were the best. Like, they, you know, they... I, I wouldn't have the success, and I mean this, that I wouldn't have the success that I have today if it wasn't because of those two. He arrived at Brandon University in 1991, still unsure of what path to take. His phys ed professor was Jerry Hemmings. The legendary Bobcat coach took him under his wing after McMillan was struggling with his studies. And he helped kind of shape that by talking to me that day because that day I was going to quit. I was ready, I was gonna leave. I was gonna leave Brandon, go back, try and beg for my job back. I worked for the Department of Highways back in the day and I was just like, you know, things changed. McMillan stuck it out and his love for sports started to grow, volunteering at Bobcat games and embracing any role. Doug Cool, actually from Look Music asked me to do the, the sound for him at games. And then it kind of spawned into me just doing that. And then Erin Mills, she was working for coach at the time and asked me, hey, do you want to be the announcer? And I'm sitting there, well, I don't know. I've, never, I've, I've done that before, you know, back, back at home years ago. I said, you know, and I did. He also gained an appreciation for giving back. With the assistance of Bill Gadd, he got involved with the Canada Summer Games in Brandon in 1997. He volunteered alongside Grant Wilson. We were fooling around there at Canada Games, and I said, come here, what, I want to get a picture. This is, you know, we're both going to be famous one day, was actually what I said. And I and, and I didn't think, you know, anything of it till, and then, you know, you've seen Grant, you know, you know, he got the position, and, he, and you know, they've done so great, you know, it, it's good for the community. McMillan moved back home and became fully ingrained in coaching and promoting athletics for the Frontier School Division. In 2014, he was recognized by the Manitoba High School's Athletic Association with the prestigious Frank L. McKinnon Award. The Frank L. McKinnon Award to, awarded to Brian McMillan, and I'm just, huh, what? He called my name. He called my name. I can't believe it. I stood up, and yeah, that was probably one of the highlights of this journey so far. Momentum has continued to build for McMillan, raising awareness on the value of education and sport nationally while staying close to his roots. I'm going to be on the PHE Canada Board of Directors as their Indigenous representative. So my life has really went from a moment in time here at Brandon University to something I never thought would ever happen. It all circles back to the Bobcats where he found his true calling and he realizes now there was no alternative. Those lessons learned in life, you know, I've been trying to, to put them into education for, for the people that I'm around, you know, you know, get up if you, if you get knocked down.